So I've made over a million coins every single day due to this one really, really simple trend. So just for the video does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, four euro, all free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about this trend that I've been going for every single day from Saturday. I've been making over a million coins every single day. And this trend may occur all of next week as well. So this trend has occurred because Team of the Weeks have been required for upgrade SPCs, yet they haven't been resupplied. Because they haven't been resupplied, these cards have basically been going up and up and up every single day, but there's been a buy point every morning because they go down because none does SBCs in the morning. So the SBC that's in question that's made them do really well is the 84 times 7 This has made them do really well because it isn't a Team of the Season or Team of the Week requirement, it's just a straight up, we want you to use Team of the Weeks. But the problem is, Team Weeks obviously haven't been in packs for two weeks. They haven't supplied tradable supplies since last Wednesday. I mean, what happened is Team Weeks just got rarer and rarer and rarer. And they just went up and up and up in price. But there wouldn't really be much money to be made every 24 hours if these cards just went up and up and up in price. So of course, then you just buy the cards, but there'd be no sell point. But that's not really the trend. The trend is that they go up and then down a little bit, up and then down a little bit, and up and then down a little bit. And because they go up and then down a little bit, up, and then down a little bit, up, and then down a little bit, up, and then some of them are down a little bit, uh, is basically given a buy point. And so every single day, you've been able to just sell them when they're up, and then you buy them when they're down a little bit. Sell them when they're up, and buy them when they're down a little bit. Now, of course, you could argue where well, you could just hold them till Saturday, uh, or just you know hold them to the highest point. But the thing is, there is enough profit between what they go up and then down to literally warrant wanting to buy them. A lot of the days, these uh, Team of the Weeks went up to 55k, but then down to 48k. Meaning every single Team of the Week, every single day that I bought these cards, I was making 5k a card. Meaning if I bought 100 Team of the Weeks, I would have made 500k a day. If I would have bought 200k, 200 Team of the Weeks, I would have made a million a day. And obviously, we've got a fair bit of coins to work with, so we've made some really, really good money. And here's an example if you see me being to buy Donnarumma just the other day for 48k. And now Donnarumma, I do believe, is minimum going to be 55, if not 56k. But last night, he would have been a little bit more expensive. I just didn't get around to selling him. So because Team Weeks went up to 60k yesterday, but I've actually managed to get back down to 50k today, there'll be yet another buying opportunity, meaning at minimum, you guys have one more chance to be able to make 5k minimum on every single Team of the Week that you go and buy today. Now the reason you've only got one more day to do this is because the SBC again that I said earlier in the video, that does use them significantly because there's some that have Team of the Season or Team of the Week requirements but that's simply just not enough to rise Team of the Weeks by themselves. Uh, only has one day 10 hours meaning the last time it's repeatable is at 6pm today and then after that, you know, unless the SBC we go and get on the Saturday requires Team of the Weeks, this trend will not work until there is a repeatable upgrade SBC or an Icon or Hero SBC because of course um, you'll have the time it, the Icon Hero SBC is released and then you'll have the second time it's repeatable. But it won't work to this sort of level because you know the amount they're needed at the moment is just absolutely insane. Now I would happily not gamble that the next SBC required Team of the Weeks. That's because previously only two out of three team, uh, two out of three SBCs needed Team of the Weeks when it came to upgrade SBCs. And of course we've already had one, which means it's way more of a 50-50. Or EA is probably a lot more likely to be self-aware this week because the Team of the Weeks were only 30k when they released this, and now they're about 60k. Hopefully EA is a lot more self-aware and doesn't require Team of the Weeks. Hopefully in the sense of for you guys doing the SBCs, not for people investing. Now, when it comes to buying the Team of the Weeks, you can't just go and buy any old Team of the Week because if you go and bought an Otamendi, Otamendi has only got a 50k price range. If you want to bought a Kasunu, he's only got a 50k price range, which means you need to look at Team of the Weeks with a 60k price range. Now, the really easy way of finding these Team of the Weeks is literally just pressing compare price, and you can see that Mintate, someone who has a 60k price range, is being listed up for the same price as the ones with a 50k price range, which means we'd go and buy him. See if we can find another example. There's a few players that you may think might have a super high price range, but don't. Some, for example, like Osherman, you might go, oh, 90 rated. And that's where you've got to compare price. Now, for some reason, let's say nothing's popping up. More likely than not, they've got a low price range. But what you can do is you can just search on Footbin. You can type in the player's name. For example, we want to go and check Dybala, but we're 
enabled to go and spell Dybala. And what we can see right here is we can see Dybala here has got a 60k price range. So that's another thing uh, to keep in note. And again, here's Dybala again, just showing you the trend. Yesterday, he was really cheap in the morning. It's got up there to 69k. But now you can see right there, there's literally one that's at 50k. I can go and buy this card for 50k. And again, in theory, it should rise back up to 60k this evening. Now, I'd be very confident they'll do very well this evening because they did very well yesterday. And I think that's people using people's division rival rewards. Well, of course, today's the last day that um, Prem players are in packs, so we should see a nice rise going into 6pm. And then I also think there'll be really good hype with everyone going to do this FBC for the brand new Bundesliga players, so I can easily see them hitting 60k again. Meaning that every single Diabala I go and buy at 50k, if I can go and sell it at 60k, is going to be 7k profit, making it very, very easy. Another tip to go and find Team of the Weeks that have good price ranges is if you go and look at the most recently released Team of the Week, EA updated all of these guys' price... Well, EA updated all par like one or two of these guys price ranges this monday now yeah he's not likely to update price ranges until next monday meaning if you guys do go and buy any team of the weeks um don't hold on to them waiting for price range updates because it's very very unlikely so if i go here and i go down to virgins and we go down to golden forms you can see that the price range updates happen on the 29th we're unlikely to see price range updates until one week after that meaning again we won't see price range updates to the 6th which means if you've got those 42k, 45k in forms, honestly, if informs are needed on Saturday, they probably drop down to about 30, 35k because um, a lot of the requirements are team of the season and team of the week. And there's very low reason to go and use a team of the season in that situation. Is that another team of the week selling on? There you go, another Dillit selling on right there for 60k. So you can see they're doing quite, quite nicely. Now, although I don't think there's a team week trend, there should be a team of the season trend this uh, this evening. So just like how you could go and buy these uh, team of the seasons for really, really cheap on the Friday evening. I think we're going to see the same thing uh, happen this week. So again, I'd say anywhere from about, I'd say 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. I think is your buy time. Although in reality, you have all the way till early morning on the uh, Saturday, because again, even at 14K, these cards still obviously perform very, very nicely. So again, it will be the discard team of the weeks, either in the mixed, the women's or the Bundesliga, uh, that you'll be looking to pick up again, I'd say from about 7 p.m. all the way to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's probably what I'll be going all in on. I'll probably sell all my team of the weeks this evening and then go all in on discard team of the seasons, because I think it's almost guaranteed really good play. But um, yeah, that is going to go and wrap that up. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, again, you guys have capitalized on this trend. I think I made literally two videos, two TikToks during the week. I made one on the initial investment, and then I made one showing how good it was. And obviously, it's done really, really well each day. So thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.